Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to go over how to browse the internet without leaving a trace. Have you ever wondered how you could do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can stay anonymous online and encrypt and hide everything you do online without leaving cookies or even your IP address behind. How can you go about doing this? Well, we were going to be using is the Linux distro Tails. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of this before. If not, well then we'll be going over that for you. If you install this on your USB flash drive or your DVD, no matter what system you use, it leaves nothing on it. It leaves nothing behind. So, um, what is Tails? Tails is a portable encrypted Linux operating system that aims to protect your privacy and to keep you anonymous online. It's already preloaded with all the software you need to get started to browse the internet, email, instant message, edit files. So no matter what you do or wherever you take your DVD or USB, it leaves nothing on any system. So. Um, let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is go to navigate to this website and then you're going to click the green button here, the download button. And once you download the ISO, you're either going to burn it to a DVD or you're going to make a bootable USB flash drive. I am not going to cover that in this video. You're going to have to refer to another reference for that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to boot that, uh, change your BIOS settings and then boot from that the USB or the DVD and I also will not be going over that in this video so I already have a virtual machine already set up with Tails I will be showing you what is inside of it so when you boot up Tails this is what will be showing up when you first start you'll have a uh, at first you'll have a menu and you'll click or press enter on the live and then you'll be directed to this you'll be told to make a password and then if you would like to uh, blend in as another operating system like Windows XP you can check that box there apologize for this the iPhone sound I'll put that on mute alright the system is now booting up here let me We'll just wait here for this to load. Oh, it looks just like Windows XP because we just uh, we made that checkbox there. <laughs> um, either way, it's it's still you know Linux, of course. So um, we'll go down to the Start menu here, and I'll just show you a few things what you got here. Um, the most important thing is probably the internet here in this category. You got ICE weasel your web browser which is launching right now what is ice weasel it's anonymous web browser with Tor and it has HTTPS everywhere extensions adblock plus no script and a lot more um, you also have clause mail clause is an email client that uses open BGP and email encryption so that you can send email through in, uh, mailing uh, and encrypt your mail so that nobody else can see your email and then you have Pigeon your in instant messenger and Pigeon comes with OTR and cryptograph tool that encrypts all your conversations you make online with your friends and anyone else and then of course you have the office suite of open office and then you have Audacity to edit your sound and then you can edit your graphics with GIMP other than that everything else is straightforward and uh, that's pretty much it with uh, Tails it's a very nice operating system and believe it or not the reason how this works is because it uses Luke's the file it, it encrypts the entire operating system so that everything is protected on it so if you want to save any documents or files you're going to need to use a USB flash drive you cannot save anything on a DVD because it's only read only that's why the DVD has a better security stance than what uh, the USB will if someone gets a hold of it so I'll go ahead and close this alright 
Well guys, I hope this video is very informative to you and very interesting. I thank you for viewing. Until next time, this is Aaron. Take care guys. Have a great, happy Thanksgiving.